Hello, this is Valerie. Valerie. And you walk in the bar and you're dressed like a star. Rocking your head. Okay, but why do I look like Lord Farquhar? It's supposed to be a barrette, but I look like a loaf of bread. I had the calling to play with makeup because last time it was so fun. Editing movies. And I called into Instagram and I ran into Amy Winehouse because I love signature makeup or signature looks or signature shapes and now I'm here MAC primer on my eyelids. I don't think I've like ever used this on my eyelids when the trend was to use it on your nose so your makeup can stick on. And I'm looking forward to my future. I feel like I have the specifics of it will show itself to you. And if you can resist the temptation to be protective with my soul. Let's pretend I'm Amy Whitehouse right now and I'm getting ready for a show. So I probably have like seven minutes to get ready. I loved her thought process of the eyeliner because it was so chunky and big and if you zoom into any pictures you can see that she didn't bring it all the way in so it just floated the eye up this way and it was so unique and feminizing. It was a cool usage of the color black and it was never perfect so it was always a little punk. So that's why I gravitated it so much. Maybe that's why everyone else gravitated towards it too much. I mean, so much. And then it, it passed up your eye brow bone crease pretty high so it could move up the eye. And she didn't really use false lashes from the looks of it. I like doing makeup if it's referencing something or paying homage to, which is like this literally the same word as referencing. Because if it's just to make yourself look pretty, I'm not interested. I love this hair right now. To do a timestamp for myself and for 2020. We got to upload three movies today. Of shooting one right now. The influences around you, like Cardi B, Nicki Minaj, or if you want to go to the 90s, Tony Braxton, which all I've been paid attention to for the past few days and how they did their makeup and what their Shaka Khan, everyone, all the makeup styles. Because if you look at RuPaul's 90s makeup face, and it was the drag that was impersonating the supermodel of the 90s, it had the thin brow, thin liner, thin everything. And if you look at it from a different angle, you can see that it's just shapes. So if you were to look at my face right now, you were to put a flat foundation color with no hair, it would just be shapes. So you get to redraw the shapes 
and I just always draw big or I thought it was drawing big shapes but if you draw little shapes it'll feminize it or it'll bring in color certain ways but if you see uh, the makeup as just little shapes it's easier to understand so thank you Amy Winehouse for connecting those thoughts for me and maybe anyone else Like, it feels like water on my skin. Rain on. Maybe you're 90. I want to say she is 90. 1990s with 2020. These are icons and legends too, but why y'all got to lie? I just hit an Ariana Grande note, bitch. You see how it creases a little bit? When Amy Winehouse was alive and this is how she would be applying makeup, like, I feel like she would be the type of girl to do her creams, her then her lip. You know, she would do her eye first, her creams around it, and just leave it on, and then do her lip, and then, to, and then go off and smoke a cigarette and then come back and then set her makeup and i love the look of powdered under eyes but you can see right at the bottom it's not set completely so it doesn't crease and you can always tell in pictures that it's not in like the 1960s or 70s how they would do their under eye highlights so interesting Thinking of putting on some lashes to give us the effect and illusion. That's really pretty. See how it pulls my eye out? Oh my god, that's so pretty. Do it with so much pressure about the eye shape and the brow shape. I wanted to go into drag for the concept of drag, not the actual like physical part of drag. So that's what always like held me back a little bit. I'm doing this today on August 9th, 2020. See what happens. Things you can't work it out in the infinite ways that the universe can work it out, or do you not trust that? What you want, and sometimes it's good that Lana Del Rey knows. Every single shape I made, like blush, highlight, eyes. I forgot that I can use my own body as my paintboard and not the editing app as my paintboard. Daddy once told me the world was macaroni, so I took a bite out of a tree. It tasted kind of funky, so I spit it out a penguin. 